Those new wheels are very smooth. So there are so many beautiful desk setups out there on Instagram. I've been kind of searching them and upon inspection, I realized that a lot of the layouts and setups that people have are just not practical for my use. A lot of them are one monitor setup, a laptop setup, no hard drives, no peripherals, and that for a video editor is just not realistic. If you're like me, you have external hard drives, you have speakers, you have two monitors, you have a computer, and then you have your UPS, hopefully. Ugh. If you're not using the UPS, you should be. And then, of course, if you have a standing desk, you have that going on as well. So there's lots of things to be plugged in, lots of cables that have to go everywhere. So today I'm gonna walk you guys through how I cable manage my standing workstation and kind of give you a realistic look on how to deal with a desk set up with a lot of peripherals, something that's a bit more real life, a little bit more um, what you would normally find in a video editor's office. Okay, it's a kind of a cluster when you're making videos. I had to film this video before I can finish the office video, but I had to post the office video before I make this video. Confusing. Oh, raid tower, raid tower, UPS, workstation, raid tower, new UPS, speakers, two monitors up there. It is a mess. My UPS can't handle this entire load, which is why I got two new UPSs, one specifically for this, because this pulls about 900 watts of power, and then one specifically for my peripherals, which will be peripherals, peripherals, which will be this 85 terabyte raid tower. These two raid towers will be moved to the server, the server closet. Chris has already mounted this to the desk for me. So I'm putting my desk, that's blown out, put my desk up and I'm going to cable manage with my desk up so that I can make sure that all my cables are long enough so that when I put my desk out, nothing pulls out. So starting with the highest position and then we will cable manage down so that when the desk is at its sitting height, everything will be fine. I wore my fancy jogging pants today because I knew I'd be getting all up in this business. So key is to wear stretchy pants. Okay, I'm just gonna start taking this apart and I'm gonna make a pile for what's going in the server closet and then make a pile for what's staying underneath the desk. By the way, make sure everything's off. We have sweating. I have a, a clip lamp stuck here so I can just get a little bit of illumination on the back wall. It's got a Phillips Hue bulb inside. I'm just going to take all of the cables and just run them down the back of this, and then we'll deal with it down here after. Remember these? Uh, this is very blown out. I bought these for the charge wall, link up here, and they're just the gift that keeps on giving. I've used them for like three projects now, and I'm gonna use them here. I'm using black fabric, no, Velcro, cable ties. Uh, I usually would use zip ties, but these are just way easier to deal with. That's what we're doing. This monitor stand has a little clip, a little hook, and I'm gonna hook it on this one as well. There's also a clip down here, so I'm just feeding everything through so they're kind of attached to this bars. We don't want to see this big mess of cables as we walk in the room, so keep this nice and neat. Everything's feeding in towards here, and then I just use these zip wraps just to hold that nice and tight one up here and then feeding that down to this and then all of these will go in there okay i have everybody labeled with a little bit of electrical tape I'm just gonna start working my way around tucking cables up here i actually have a power bar up here so this is gonna look probably a little bit messy but i'm gonna try to consolidate as much as possible i got this weird tube that i'm gonna clean up that just connects the cables from both sides and i the reason why i chose white here is just because these are white, just to keep it white across the board. I'm also gonna be using like these things to help keep these cables attached to the top. I'm also gonna use these to keep things tight. Okay, do you remember this stuff? I use this double-sided um, adhesive in the basement on those ugly ass curtains. So I'm gonna use it to attach this to this because this is really heavy and not quite long enough. Okay, now we have this lovely little tail. We're gonna cover it. I'm using black for this one because it's against the dark wall, so I'm trying to minimize the cords. There we go. Now we got a mess here. So I'm basically working my way from the top to the bottom. I put my desk all the way up to standing height, and then I've worked my way from the monitors down to the bottom of the desk, and now down to here, and now we're gonna work on the UPS aspect, which is the uninterrupted power supply, which if you're using hard drives and computers, you want to have something like that. In case you have a power outage, it allows you to basically run a backup battery for five or 
10 minutes on your computer so if your power goes out you can shut it down safely versus a power surge potentially ruining and frying your computer and hard drives which would be expensive and shitty okay let's move on to that So I have two UPSs. One I put on this wall mount I got from Amazon. The link is in the blog post in the description box. So I just kind of mounted that to the wall and then put the other UPS right underneath it, stacked and out of the way and nice and neat. And I just slid everything else back in. All right, so that's how my cable management went. It's not quite as minimalistic as a lot of the stuff you see on Instagram. Uh, Instagram is not real. It's just not realistic to have nothing on the desk, unless you're like a designer or somebody who doesn't need excessive amounts of hard drive space, or if you're a minimalist and you delete all your footage, then you know maybe those Instagram accounts are accurate, but for me, it's just not practical. Everything that's on my desk is there for a reason because I use it all the time. I hope you guys found this video helpful when it comes to organizing and cable managing your workstation. Again, that's really loud. Is that a helicopter? That's definitely a helicopter. So I hope you guys found this video helpful when it comes to cable managing and organizing your desk, especially if you're a video editor, photographer, or designer who has um, two monitors, external hard drives, you're working off a desktop, you got your UPS. So this is kind of how I've set it up. Everything that I've used to cable manage my desk, including what my monitors are, etc learn how to say that properly, all linked in the blog post in the description box. And I'll do a separate video on the server closet I keep talking about because it's set up, but it's not quite set up to where I want it to be yet. So once I have that dialed in, I'll make a video for you guys explaining what that is and why we have it. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you on the next one. So I have these gray one, I have a gray highlighter and I showed it on my Instagram stories last week. And you guys were so mad that I didn't show an example of how it looked. So I'm showing you here. That is what it looks like. And yes, I wrote poop because I'm a 33 year old woman who's basically a 12 year old boy.